So right now we are trying to line up the uh, pillow blocks. I'm running three um, for extra stability, but <clears throat> you got to make sure we're straight like so. Or else the fucking drift trike will drive down the road sideways. And not the type of sideways I want. So, uh, pretty much got them lined up pretty good. Um, I figured I'd actually keep it on the axle when I mark my holes. This way I know exactly where to drill. Um, and everything should be straight. Got them RB Techs. The premium, of course. Heavy duty. And um, like I said, in rocking the three of them will definitely give me more stability on the center of the axle as well as keeping everything more linear. So uh, gonna get my holes drilled um, and get this thing put in permanently. Hold tight now. Uh, we got them hot holes gone. Got the plug on there, plug on there. I mean, let's get this finished up. Alright, so we got the pillow blocks in. Everything spins pretty. No resistance, it's pretty smooth. Um, looks pretty good. My holes weren't exactly, exactly 100% perfect, but um, I think it'll be okay. Um, the pillow blocks got slight play in the, um, the drill hole, bolt hole, so it allows for uh, millimeters of imperfection. Um, but yeah, pretty dope. So, uh, I'm going to get the tires mounted on. Um, we are using the Arby Tech Premiums. You know what I mean? Bad boys. So, uh, I think we're going to be alright there, Rick. So we're going to get it flipped over. I'm going to mount the uh, hubs on and the tires just to have them on. And uh, see what we got for... Uh, with here once the tie is put on we got seven inches um, of overhang on both sides <clears throat> so i think that should give us a decent amount of clearance from the rim to the frame tie it to the frame and then um what do you call it uh still be able to get the full um tire and rim on the hub itself uh fully on the shaft whereas the other one actually hung off about a half inch three quarters of an inch um because it was just too would have made it too far in for the uh tires that i was running that would have ended up hitting the frame so that's that i think i'm gonna end up hitting it with a tack weld right here just for some extra support stability something we could uh crack or grind off if need be once you gotta replace the uh the pillow blocks but um that's it man I mean, looking right. So stay tuned for when we get the tires on and uh, see how we roll with uh, with the tires on, spinning it manually. Um, it's free, perfectly free spinning, um, but it's a little tight. Uh, could just be because the shit's new, um, but nonetheless, I'd rather take... Uh, a little sturdy than uh, some flimsy free spinning shit. But I think once the tires are on and we spin it, we'll be able to give a nice, uh, nice easy turn. So uh, stay tuned, man, as we get this dang bang put together. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up today. Um, I'm not gonna bother fucking with the old uh, whale hub that were on the other axle. I just think it's an obscure fucking size. Um, so we're not even going to be able to get them on. If I drill them down, it's just going to lessen the thickness of the keyway. And that fucking shit ain't worth it to me. So I'm just going to go 
and I have to buy new um, whale hugs, unfortunately. But um, whatever at this point, right? Fuck. So yeah, we all mounted in. Looking good. So axle is complete. And um, I guess I'm pretty happy with it. I'm um, sort of tightened down the uh, pillow blocks. I just kind of tightened them snug to get the fitment of the shaft to go through. But I'm um, going to have to paint them bitches down. Have everything match. It wouldn't be good if your trike was like this. Because that means you fucked yourself up. <laughs> Stay tuned.